This right here is a Makita MM4 concrete saw. What am I using this for? Hey guys, the regular Dane. So today I'm going to be putting up a basketball court. Uh, well, not a basketball court, a basketball hoop. So I've got a full size NBA style Spalding. This is like a heavy duty one. It's like a five inch, five or six inch post. Very heavy. But with this uh, mount here, it's not going into dirt. I'm actually putting it into the concrete and making a deeper footer. And that is the reason for the concrete saw. Here we have the 60 inch backboard Spalding. So this is a breakaway rim. Spalding NBA style glass. Very heavy duty, probably weighs uh, maybe 40 pounds just by itself. So anyway, we're gonna, I got a mounting kit. We're gonna cut a square in this cement here, dig down, put some cement, put our four, four bolts coming up and then uh, let it sit for about 72 hours to dry. And then we can get to playing some hoops. What I've got to do is make a 16 inch hole, 16 inch square. Okay, so we're going to center that. Now that we got the square cut out, I'm going to start taking out all the chunks and uh, hammering this out since I don't have a, a jackhammer. Okay, after you start digging it out, we're gonna go 36 inches down, and then we're gonna flange out the edges to maybe 20 inches or so. That way it'll give it a better stability, uh, the post itself or the footer itself. So anyway, that's where we're at. It's time to start mixing some concrete and filling in this hole. Okay, quick update. Been filling this hole with some concrete but it's time to stop and I gotta do this video really quick here. <clears throat> time to get this rebar. And we're gonna put it in here. And let's see. Put this about right here. About right here. About right there. And about right there. <clears throat> about eight inches. Eight inches or so apart. Give it good strength. And then we'll keep filling in with the concrete. And then it'll be time to add this piece right here. And this is all part of a kit that you can get. And this is actually on Amazon, I think. Um, but anyway, I better get back to some uh, mixing. So one thing you wanna check, we're getting pretty close right here, is make sure that your rebar posts are still uh, centered about eight inches apart or so. And you just gotta grab them and center them and then we'll fill up the rest of it right here. All right, so once you push this down into the concrete and you got it in the right spot that you want it, then you're gonna put a level on that and just adjust it so that it is level both directions. 
push it all the way in and it should be good to go. Okay, so it's been a couple days and this is ready to install. Nice and firm and solid foundation. And we're just going to stick the basketball goal right on top of this, put a couple washers and tighten it down. But anyway, that's what it turned out looking like. All I'm gonna do is set this on top of it. Now it's time to tighten these up. So for this system, this is what it looks like. It's got kind of a little bit of a space underneath. But then I got some black caps to put on top of these as well. Looking pretty good on the plum. Okay, got it up. And all that's left to do is install this backboard. And that should be pretty easy. They're just four spots, one, two, three, four, for the two arms that are on the back of there. And just like that, all you gotta do is put your rim on. Ho, 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 ho. Now it's time to hoop it up. And what I like about this is it's adjustable. Boom. Alright, so there you go. That's how you put in a foundation for your basketball hoop. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.